Welcome back, friend. Christine here on Serious Gaming, continuing my walkthrough of Total War Room 2 on the legendary difficulty. Okay, so. Armies are ready. Well, readying actually themselves to yes. march over there in those particular lands to take them for the glory of Sparta. For the eternal glory of Sparta. Now, you know. In this particular situation, I actually hope Media recovers some territory in Mesopotamia, not uh, the Seleucids. In fact, the Seleucids are losing more and more territory, which is actually good for me. Let Saranika destroy them, that's not my problem. And once they get annihilated as the faction and stop being a bloody annoyance, I will strike. And I will strike hard. Okay. I've dealt with one uh, fleet right here. Okay. W one Cheruski fleet, that is. Where? Um, okay. Who controls this province? Eh. This person says at war with someone, by the way. Nope, they're not at war with anyone. So Media controls these two territories. Media has been reduced to, what, five territories, give or take? If I could eliminate it quickly as a faction. Eh. Hmm. <laughs> Ready for orders. Oh wait, someone I have forgotten about. Uh, where did I destroy the two buildings in order to make way for some food? Oh yeah, right here. Uh, in these two provinces. Okay, I'll remember that. So it's in Africa and in Corsica at Sardinia province. Okay. Seleucids. <laughs> okay. You know, I'm a bit worried actually. Oh, sup. I'm a bit worried about um, the massive fleets, one faction, uh, and if Ethiopia actually has, uh, and they're close to my Saudi Arabia territory, or, well, Arabia Felix territory. Okay, where, where is he actually? I don't know. I can see him. Fog and all. I imagine if I were to. Yeah, yeah. I cannot see shit. Ah, there we go. Yeah! All right. Mm -hmm. By the way, on such boats, on you know these Viking-style boats, the Vikings didn't exist back then. Um, on these kind of boats, uh, the oarsmen were actually on. There were no two decks, there was just one deck where all the oarsmen were. Eh, creative assembly was kind of lazy here. Oh! Oh. Might be an improvement because of the fucking patch. 
took you long enough. Thank God they did implement it at long last. Now if they only could get rid of that fucking advisor, I'd be happy. <laughs> I'd really be happy. Um, yeah. And of course improve the CGI <laughs> if they did that. Actually improved AI in general, you know, campaign AI, bat open ba field battle AI, uh, CGI and all that. You, you know what's actually funny is that by is that there's a mod out there which removes victory points throughout the entire game, seed battles included. Uh, and apparently without those fucking victory points that the AI is trying desperately to rush to, bat siege battles actually are not such so much of a cakewalk and they're not actually that bad apparently. Of course, there's still problems, obviously, you know, with AI deployment policies and all of that shit, but really, it's a fucking flag. I'm worried about that fleet, actually, specifically. Anyway, I'll first deal with the, the faction, the Aksum faction right there. Okay, time to declare war against Persis. Now, Media Tropatine can wait. Or can it? Can I take it? Well, unfortunately, no, because I don't have any siege weapons with this particular army. Let's take out Persis. Anyway. They might have, um, if I'm not mistaken, this is a walled city. What? Huh. So it's an open... Well, that's nice. Open field battle, huh? But that's weird a bit, actually. All things considered, it's actually a bit weird. But then again... Oh, actually, it's something they added with the patch, whereby the AI can decide, yeah, you know what, I'm gonna actually meet you on the field of battle instead of just cowering behind my walls. So now you have an option when fighting siege battles to actually fight on the open field. Okay, let's... Alright! Less siege battles, thank god for that one. Let's uh... Well, I can't do much with this guy. Of course, you still have citizen cavalry charging into the front lines of your force instead of, you know, flanking your army as they fucking should do, but hey, I'll take some improvements. Okay, the army is breaking that on, at least. Where's the reinforcements?
Okay. So the AI met me on the field of battle. It's a bit of a stupid decision though, in the sense that why the hell would he sally out of his city considering that he's severely outmatched in this particular case? I mean, sure. I understand wanting to spice the things up, creative assembly, but, but. Wait, this is not... Okay, now that situation I understand perfectly well. Well, that's gonna solve some of my food issues. Let's get the group of nymphs. We hunger for Can battle. I... Well, I don't know, actually. How far can I move? No. No. Ah, damn it. I'll just reload. Can't afford to lose any battle, nor that city. If it doesn't have any defenders, eh, I can just waltz in and take it back. Of course, there's a radius in, you know, surrounding my armies. But I'm not gonna take that chance. No, thank you. So, that should solve my food issues. So, this guy survived right here with his entire unit. Okay. Now, if the Seleucid Empire falls uh, and they have just five territories left and the Carlia are right next to them, if they do fall, as an empire, then what I can do is swoop in, take their ter- you know, swoop in, take their- the territories they lose. Um, I'm gonna take uh, Egypt out, but I'm not gonna take Cyrenica out. I'm just- I'm just gonna hope Cyrenica does actually wipe them out. And you have a- pff, well, you have a Carly army. Are they at war Cyrenica or are they allied or something? I don't know. Lucid, Orsi, Massalia. My Massalian allies are actually doing good job of thing, with things here. Okay, meanwhile, to the north. Oh, actually, my army in, that's about to invade Spain here to the south of Gaul. Ready for battle. We no, no, no. On the move. March. That is impossible. Stop right there. If then Subarus don't move next turn, I'll just trespass through territory. Your orders leaving the ship. Our advance has been halted. Advance! We hunger. On the move. Journey complete. Okay. And these two armies should be enough in taking the city right here. Oh yeah, I forgot about one army right here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna get that blur to kill her bonus. Your orders. It is an honor to serve. Um I need Well there's your landing zone, I suppose. Is there? There we go. Going ashore. Ready for further orders. Returning to shore. Finding shelter. Okay. Yeah, we've got one territory. I'll position armies. Um, you know, obviously the one with siege we weapons will be positioned battle. to take uh, the larger settlement. Well, the smaller one will be positioned. Destination 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Ready for battle. Not yet. Ah, uh, this is weird. Hmm. I mean, shouldn't I have... Shouldn't the food problem... Be fixed by now? What am I missing here? Mm. I'll switch that over to that. Okay. Lucid. I do hope I'm not gonna face a rebellion because that would suck big time. Well, the Armenian rebels have been destroyed or driven into the wilds, either way, it doesn't matter much. Hmm. A token. Perhaps a modest gift. I'm not gonna. The best ale is Maybe you should pay me. A dry throat a when talking results in nothing. Maybe you should pay me, and maybe I'd spare you if you became my bitch, pretty much. Okay. All right. Food problems, please go away. Finally. Food problems have indeed gone away. So Persis is mine. Excellent most excellent. Uh, well, one territory in Persis, which happens to be a small settlement. The provincial capital is... I don't know where the fuck it is, actually. Oh, right there. Persopolis. Hmm. Well, if this city were to fall... Well, it won't, actually. Things will stabilize and all that crap. Ready for orders. Okay. Now, well, let's declare war against these guys. Hmm. What? It's an ambush? Huh. Oh, wait, 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 actually. It's uh, their enforced march stance and with the patch. Okay. Strike now and eliminate the enemy. Before he has a fucking chance of escaping. When did ambush battle? <laughs> First ambush battle I fight in the game. Well, I did fight the battle of Toburg to Forest, but really that's a completely different situation. Scenario. It's not gonna be a difficult battle, is it? Just in case, though. Oh, wait, their units are over there. So...
Okay, these guys have been routed. Alright. Quick, fast slaughter of this enemy army. Now, let's assault their settlement. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna attack it, because I don't have siege weapons to deal with the scorpion towers, which I've established are fucking overpowered and need a nerf. End of story there. Settlement. None will escape. Two turns. Now these guys. Hmm. The will gods. be destroyed very quickly. Ah, Black Company. It's gaining the level. Excellent. Maybe I can get a, a max maximum rank army in this particular playthrough. At least that, you know, I haven't gained a maximum level agent or anything like that. We hunger for much. Journey completed. We cannot do that. Well, if they are gonna try and ambush me. Ready for orders. Hmm. So much for progress on the food front, right? Well, you know, several... Uh, several regions will f soon finish. Constructing uh, buildings related to food consumption, including Galatia at Cappadocia, Bithynia at Pontus. Four versus five. Okay. Four turns for the for food production. Five turns for the. Uh, Establishing that Cisalpania. Well, let's get some wine. Why the hell not? Hmm. Mm hmm. Well, the um, the dorm will solve the issues there of public order. Okay, end the turn. Costine here on. Serious gaming, and I forgot about these guys. My stupidity. Anyway, Costine here on Serious Gaming. Signing out. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you all for watching, and Your stay wisdom tuned for is more. Renowned. And surely Athena herself would see that an. Oh. We.